In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Ensign Windows on an iPad. The first step is to install a remote desktop program like TeamViewer on the desktop PC. You go to teamviewer.com and then you click on the start full version, it's free, and download that and install it. Once it's installed, it opens up a little program that looks like this. It has your ID and a randomly generated password each time you open it. Now, the next step is to install TeamViewer on the iPad. Now, in this example, I've already installed it, but let me show you how to find it. You go to the App Store and you just search for TeamViewer. It'll have the iPad apps across the top and the iPhone apps across the bottom. Now, the one you want to use is TeamViewer HD for remote and it's a free installation. So I've downloaded that and it shows up on the desktop like this. And then the program gives you the option to enter the TeamViewer uh, ID. So you click on the ID, it brings up a keypad. The ID that you type in is the one that shows up on your desktop. Sorry for the shaky video. Okay, so I'm going to enter that in now. And then I'm going to enter in that password. And then I just hit remote control. And then it brings up my desktop. Now, I'm going to turn it so that I can see a little bit more. Now you'll notice that looks exactly like this screen up here. So from here, now I can go ahead and open up my workspace, for example, in the Ensign Windows. So to control it, you'll notice that as I drag my finger, a mouse kind of follows it. It doesn't cover it, but it follows it. So if I go up to the top, let's say I want to zoom in a little bit, I just pinch and squeeze. You just pinch and zoom. You can see how nice that action is there. And you just move and put the, the uh, cursor right up on the workspaces, for example. And then I'm going to click on Example. If I double tap, it's just like a double click. And you can see that it loads my workspace. Now this computer has two monitors. This uh, program has the ability to easily control two monitors. If you look at the bottom of TeamViewer, you'll see a few control icons there. This one right here is an easy switching between monitors. That just switched me to my second monitor and then back to my first. If you double, if you use two fingers and you click, wherever your mouse is, that's the same as bringing up a right click. So if I click on the chart and then I use two fingers, that brings up the right menu. So you can see it's pretty easy to control things. If I want to apply another study, just come down to where studies is and tap. Let's say I want to do a, an ergodic indicator. Just put my cursor there and then it puts on the ergodic. Now you can double tap and that's like clicking and dragging. And you can see that I just made that window a little bit bigger. And it's the same process for other things. You just double tap and you can shrink things down. The zooming, and, zooming in and out and to navigate you just move your finger and now you can see my charts. You can come over here and look at the price. It gives you complete control. You can see this chart here. The price is updating. It's a real-time chart. You can zoom back out and anytime you want to pull up a keyboard you click on the keyboard icon at the bottom and then you close it. You just close it. Now if I close the connection on the computer at the top, you'll see a window pop up saying that it's finished, and then you can just hit OK. And that's how you use Ensign on an iPad. The benefits of this are uh, many because you don't have to carry around in a complete desktop. If you have spotty internet or if you have problems with uh, connecting, you don't want to be hauling a laptop. 
uh, you can use your iPad just, just to remote desktop to your home computer while Ensign's running in the background. Of course, this is not just for Ensign, it's for any, any uh, software running on your computer. Thank you.